So Ed asked me to Jim join. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Don Lane, and I'm the chair of the Community Grants Committee for Christchurch Cathedral, which is part of the Outreach Committee. And Ed asked me to come and talk to you all today about the work of the Grants Committee uh, and what we do and how we do it and with whom we do it, more importantly. Um, the Grants Committee has been around for quite some time. Uh, in the cathedral operating budget, uh, this is not endowment funded, but it's part of the operating budget, we have a line item for what we call community grants. And community grants are exactly what you would expect them to be. They are grants that the cathedral gives to community nonprofits uh, that um, help in their programming and with their mission. Um, we do two rounds of grant funding per year. One of them starts uh, around the beginning of February and concludes around the middle of May. And then the next one starts around the beginning of uh, August and concludes in November. So we actually just wrap that one up. Um, we do two cycles just to space out um, during the course of the year to give nonprofits a chance to apply twice instead of just doing it once. Plus it kind of saves the grants committee because if we tried to do this all at one time, we would be exhausted. Um, so the grants process, I'll talk about the mechanics first and then talk about what our initiatives look like these days. Mechanically, um, folks can apply for a grant online. That's typically how we get the grant applications in. Um, the requirements for the hard requirements for these folks are um, they have to be a recognized 501c3 and they also have to um, demonstrate that that status with the IRS is in good standing so we need that documentation. Um, it is possible that we would grant to an organization that is perhaps affiliated with a 501c3 or is uh, maybe a supporting organization or something of that nature. We have a lot of grant recipients who are programs under the umbrella of another 501c3. And that's fine as long as the um, lead agency can vouch for them. Um, so what they do is we have a questionnaire that we ask them or a cover sheet that we ask them to fill out with the specifics. And then we ask for various types of information. Uh, we want to know who's on your board, what kind of contacts you may have with the cathedral, um, certainly what your mission is. We ask for a lot of uh, matrix information, so that or metrics information, so that we can tell um, that they are in fact impacting a population, uh, and that they are using the money for some sort of community good and that it's not just strictly staying administratively or something of that nature. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, so when all the, the applications are in, um, we have a period uh, that we accept applications. Once the date closes, then there's a cutoff. Then the Grants Committee, well, before the Grants Committee convenes, um, I take the applications and do a first run through. If they don't meet the minimum requirements that, we, that I mentioned a minute ago, then those will exit the process at that point. The other thing the Grants Committee tries to do is we try to make sure that we don't grant a particular nonprofit more than two years in a row. So if somebody's been in the process in say 2017 and 2018, <coughs> they will probably not be eligible for 2019 funding. We ask them to sit out a year and then come back. And, and the reason for that is clear. It's just simply so that we can uh, make sure that we impact as many different groups as possible. So I will also take out those folks who have been in for two years. Uh, once we've whittled it down to that list, then the Grants Committee meets for our first of two meetings for that grant cycle. The first meeting, we may do another cut. Um, I'll send out summary information on each of the applicants that are still in the process a week or so before the meeting. We'll come to the meeting prepared to discuss and then we may subjectively take some other applicants out of the process. Uh, if perhaps the Grants Committee doesn't believe that the organization is viable, uh, if the committee doesn't believe that the organization matches some of the missional um, programs that the cathedral might be supporting at that particular period of time, 
uh, or if they feel as though um, the application is not affecting enough people. Uh, we'll ask the, them from the process, and that's a committee.